All right. Today we are up for a treat. It's not me. Give clap. I'm not going to be preaching. Aren't you happy? <laughs> Billy is looking at me like, when was I happy? <laughs> anyway, thank you. <laughs> but we have a, a, a man of God. I've, I've seen uh, 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 in, in how what God is doing and how God is inspiring and stirring this man. I believe God has something in his heart that we need to listen. As a pastor, it is my job to hear the voice of God. What is the voice of God for this building, for, for this group of believers? We need always, always remember this. Every single day we search for the voice of God. What is he speaking to me today? All right? Without any delay, I want to invite Pops over here. Oh, yeah. Say praise Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory to God. It's good to be back with everybody this Sunday. I missed y'all terrible. Y'all really are my family. You know that, right? You really are. I don't really have a whole lot of family, family. But you know, the spirit is thicker than blood, right? And it's just wonderful that we can come together and love each other and worship together and laugh together and, and uh, laugh at me, you know, and stuff and everything. I know y'all do that. And, uh, but I'm just thankful for each and every one of you. Let's just pray before we go into the word. Father God, we just uh, come into you, your house, Lord, thanking and uh, praising you, Lord, for what you are doing for the word, God, that you have given today. And I just pray, Lord, that um, you would just be with me. And Lord, uh, let me just present this, Lord, as you have presented it to me. And I thank you for that. Thank you for using me. Thank you for using all of us, Lord God. We're all in this thing together. And we're just so grateful to you, Lord, for what we have here and for each other and for this wonderful family. In Jesus' name, say amen. Hallelujah. Amen. God is good. God Dios is good. Is bueno. Amen. Put up that first uh, uh, slide there, Matt. Hallelujah. Entering into rest. How many of you need rest today? Entrando en el reposo. ¿Quién necesita reposo el día de hoy? I know I do. Yo right? sí. And I think that's why God gave me Uh, the message that he gave me. Most of you guys know all the things I've been doing. I've been driving and working and driving and working, driving and working. You know, and sometimes you just get tired in your body. Y tu cuerpo se cansa. Sometimes when you get tired in your body, you get tired in your spirit. Y cuando se cansa tu cuerpo, tu espíritu se cansa. We all have our limitations. Todos tenemos limitaciones. Right? So God has been speaking to me about entering into rest with him. Dios me estaba hablando a mí acerca del reposo en él. Because all the things I was handling for my dad, the list was about this long. Porque right? la lista era grande lo que tenía que hacer con, con el fallecimiento de mi papá. Now it's down to about this long. <laughs> thank, thank God for that. A Dios. Amen. 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 God is good all the time. Dios es bueno todo el tiempo. Amen. Next slide, man. I want to ask you a question. Le voy a preguntar algo. Is this you? <laughs> <laughs> Amen. <laughs> How many of you ever feel like that? ¿Cuántos se sienten así a veces? I felt like that because that's what happened here. <laughs> right? I don't have anything to pull anymore. <laughs> ya no tengo que jalarme yo. But God wants us to understand about entering into rest. We've heard this before. Dios quiere que entendamos cómo entrar a su reposo. People say rest in Jesus. La gente te dice descansa en Jesús. Rest in God. Descansa en Dios. You know, and they can say that, but how do we do that? Pero cómo se hace eso? I've heard a lot of sermons in my time. He oído muchas prédicas. But uh, sometimes you hear the sermon and, and they don't tell you how to do it, right? Y, y escuchas el sermón, pero no te dicen cómo hacerlo. So I want to tell you how to do it today. Te voy a enseñar cómo hacerlo. <laughs> Amen. Hey, would, you, would you like that? Quieren, quieren saber. Turn with me to the book of Hebrews. Vamos al libro de Hebreos. And if you've been following my post on Facebook, y si tú has leído lo que yo escribo en Facebook, you'll see that I've been ministering on, on entering into rest. Saben que yo este he hablado acerca del descanso. But if you look around, 
Pero si tú ves a tu alrededor, people are stressed everywhere. La gente está estresada todos por todos lados. You know, people work jobs. Some people work two jobs. Alguien trabaja un trabajo o a veces dos. Some people have children that they have to take care of. Tienen hijos que tienen que cuidar. We have all the the news that's on TV that's pressing us, weighing us down. Las noticias que vemos todos los días. And you know, it's not much better in the Christian sector either. Y no es nada mejor entre los cristianos tampoco. In fact, if the truth be told, there are a lot of Christian people that are more stressed than people that don't know Jesus. Eh, hay estudios que dicen que la gente cristiana está más estresada que los que I no son. I want us to get to the bottom of that. Quiero que lleguemos al fondo de esto. You know, because that's not what God intends is for us to be stressed. Porque Dios no puso intencionalmente que estemos estresados. Jesus said, My peace I give unto you. Jesús dijo, Mi paz te la doy a ustedes. Not as the world giveth I give to you. No como el mundo right? se la da. But his peace. We need Jesus' peace. Necesitamos la paz de Jesús. And if you look at stress. Si mira la palabra el estrés. Stress is defined as mental, physical, or emotional distress. Se describe como algo mental o emocional. And I want to add to that today, spiritual distress. Y voy a hablar acerca del el estrés espiritual. There's a lot of Christian people who are in spiritual distress. Hay muchos cristianos que están en esta situación. Wondering why their prayers are not answered. Se preguntan por qué mis oraciones no se han contestado. Wondering why things are happen, happening when the word of God says it should happen this way. ¿Por qué no ha pasado como se supone que tiene que suceder según la Biblia? Well, I'm here to tell you today that God does not change. Quiero decirte que Dios no ha cambiado. His word hasn't changed. Su palabra no ha cambiado. God is not dead. No está muerto. Amen. He's not sleeping. Ni está dormido. He's not on vacation. Ni en amen. vacaciones. God is not stressed. Dios no está estresado. Can you say amen? Amen. But I want to bring some good news today. How many of you are ready for for good news. Buenas noticias hoy. ¿Quién está listo para Amen. escucharlas? Let's look in Hebrews 4. Hebreos capítulo 4. And we're going to start in verses 9 and 10. Del versículo 9 y 10. Let me know when you're there. Everybody there? There remains then a Sabbath rest for the people of God. For anyone who enters God's rest also rests from his own work just as God did from his. Did you know that you can end your stress, you can get out of distress by your faith? Cuando tú estás estresado, tú puedes salir de este estrés por fe. Look, look closely what it says in verse 9. It says, <clears throat> there remains, there remains then por tanto, queda un reposo para el pueblo de Dios. So if it's remaining, si queda, it must have been there the whole time. <laughs> Amen. Que, si, si era lo que quedaba, eso tiene que ser todo el tiempo. That's the problem, is that we don't acknowledge that the rest of God, the rest that he wants us to have, is right there. No, eso es lo que no entendemos, que el descanso que necesitamos tener está ahí mismo. We're not accessing it. No estamos uh, entrando the al rest of God. en el descanso de Jehová. We're not accessing the peace of God. No estamos uh, uh, entrando a la paz. And we look at a Sabbath rest. What is a Sabbath rest? ¿Qué era el descanso sabático? Who is the Sabbath? Who does the word tell us the Sabbath is? ¿Quién dice la palabra Jesus. que era el, el sabático? Jesús. We need a Sabbath rest. We don't need a vacation. Necesitamos un descanso a través de Jesús, no vacaciones. Sometimes when we go on vacation, we come back more tired than when we left. A veces vamos a las vacaciones y regresamos That's más cansados. Me. Eso me ha pasado a mí. But he's, he kind of sums this up in verse 10. Y él agrega más en el versículo 10. And here's where we're missing it. Y es lo que, esto es lo que estamos perdiendo. Let's look at it again. For anyone who enters God's rest also rests from his own work just as God did with his. Are you hearing me? Me entienden. Are you, are you ceasing from your works? Estás descansando de tus trabajos, de tus obras. What I'm trying to say is that we're trying to make things happen. 
Lo que quiero decir es que estamos tratando de hacer que las cosas pasen. If we if we have a financial problem, what we do is we go and get another job. Cuando tenemos un problema financiero, ¿qué hacemos? Vamos y buscamos otro trabajo. And I'm not I'm not saying there's something wrong with that, but did you rest in God's promises first? Y yo no quiero decir que esto está mal, pero tú descansaste en Dios primero. Did you pray for increase first where you were? Oraste para que hubiera un incremento en or, tu salario primero. Or did we try to make up the difference ourselves? O tratamos de hacer la diferencia nosotros Are you following mismos. me this morning? Si me están entendiendo. Right. If we are, if we have something in our bodies we're praying for. Si tenemos algo en nuestro cuerpo que estamos orando. Have we ceased from our own works? Estamos haciéndolo, no, tratando de quitar. Are we going to mismos? the promises of God first with that sickness? O primero vamos a las promesas de Dios para esa enfermedad. Or are we, or, or are we posting it somewhere? Are we asking everyone to pray and we should do that? But first, have we prayed? Have we entered into rest over it with the word of God? O le estamos diciendo a alguien más que ore por nosotros, que es bueno hacerlo, pero nosotros ya fuimos a orar con, con Dios primero. Where he plainly says, by my stripes you are healed. Donde él dice en la palabra que por sus llagas fuimos sanados. Now I'm not saying we need to cease from. No quiero decir que tenemos que parar. From what we're doing for the kingdom of God, for example, like our teachers. De que tengamos que dejar de hacer lo que estamos haciendo para el reino we're not de Dios. To stop what we're doing. No tenemos que parar lo que estamos haciendo. The Bible says faith without works is dead. La palabra dice que la fe sin obras es muerte. I'm not talking about the kingdom of God works. No estoy hablando de las obras para el reino de Dios. I'm talking about the kind of works where we think Jesus is not enough. Estoy hablando de las obras en las que pensamos que Jesús no es suficiente. That we have to make up the difference ourselves. Y que tenemos que hacer la diferencia a nosotros. That's not a Sabbath rest. Ese no es un descanso en Dios. Right. In Genesis, if we go back and look at Genesis, Genesis si says Genesis, that dice, on, the, on the Sabbath day, on the seventh day, God rested from Donde dice work. que en el séptimo día Dios descansó de lo que había hecho. Why did God rest? ¿Por qué Dios descansó? Was he tired? Estaba cansado. He rested, Brother Lalo, because it was finished. It was done. Él descansó porque ya había terminado. Amen. Amen. When Jesus hung on the cross. Cuando Jesús estaba en la cruz. What did he say on the cross? ¿Qué fue lo que dijo ahí? It is finished. Esto ha terminado. Es terminado. What was finished? ¿Qué había terminado? Of course, his life was about to end, right? Por supuesto, su vida estaba a punto de cesar, iba a morir. But what did he accomplish on the cross? Y pero qué fue lo que él ganó en la cruz? Everything. Todo. You know, as Christians, where we miss the boat sometimes is that we believe for our salvation. Muchas veces como cristianos olvidamos y creemos solamente en nuestra salvación. And everything else is up in the air. Y todo lo demás lo dejamos en el volando, en el ahí. Right. Every work of the devil was defeated on the cross. Todo el trabajo de Satanás fue Are you listening to me today? Today? Whoever has ears, listen to what I'm saying today. Escuchen lo que estoy diciendo hoy. Everything that we ever need to enter into rest was accomplished on the cross. Todo lo que necesitamos fue conquistado en la cruz. Jesus doesn't need our help. Jesús no necesita nuestra ayuda. It's already done. Ya está Amen. hecho. He already knows that él, we are in need of money. Él sabe ya que necesitamos dinero. He already knows that we're not feeling well in our bodies. Él sabe que no nos, nos sentimos bien a veces. He Estamos knows enfermos. you better than you know yourself. Él lo sabe mejor de lo que tú sabes. Right? Did we save ourselves on the cross? Nosotros acaso nos salvamos Did nosotros mismos en la cruz? Did we finish on the cross? Nosotros terminamos todo en la cruz? Jesus finished everything on the cross. Jesús Say amen. Jesús terminó todo en la cruz. And because he finished everything on the cross, we can rest. Y porque lo terminó en la cruz, podemos descansar. Now rest del descanso is equivalent to faith. Es equivalente a la fe. Can you say amen? Puedes decir amen. The problem is, is that we haven't exercised our faith. El problema es que no hemos ejercitado tanto nuestra fe. That Jesus is enough. Y pensar que Jesús es suficiente. Look in verse 11. He says, let us therefore. El verso 11. Make every effort to enter into that rest. Procuremos pues entrar en aquel reposo. So that no one will fall by following their example. We're going to get to that in a minute. 
para, para que ninguno caiga imitando este ejemplo de desobediencia. The only thing that we need to work at on entering rest is to work at entering rest. <laughs> Lo único que tenemos que trabajar para entrar en el descanso es trabajar en, para entrar Stick en el descanso. Quédense conmigo hoy. Okay. It's like we, like the pastor was talking about it a moment ago. We have to work at this thing. Nosotros tenemos que trabajar en esto. Rest just doesn't come automatically. El descanso no viene automático. Right? We have to increase our faith. Tenemos que incrementar nuestra fe. We have to listen to the word of God. Tenemos que escuchar a la palabra de Dios. Whether it's me, the pastor, another pastor, reading the word, whatever it is, we've got to get the word of God inside of us. Ya sea a través de, de mi persona o del pastor o de quien sea que esté predicado, tenemos que poner la palabra de Dios dentro de nosotros. Es porque ahí están las promesas de Dios y ahí está el descanso de Dios. ¿Cómo saber lo que Dios tiene para nosotros si no lo leemos? Unless we hear it. O no lo escuchamos. The word says faith cometh by hearing. La palabra dice que la fe viene por el oír. And hearing by the word of God. Y el oír la palabra de Dios. So we've got to get the word of God at us. We've got to labor at this. Tenemos que trabajar en esto, en escuchar la palabra de Dios. And this is our part in this thing. Y esta es nuestra parte en, en esto del descanso. We have to spend time with God. If you want to rest, you've got to know God. Si tú quieres descansar, tenemos que conocer a Dios. We have to get out of this religious spirit and get back into a relationship-minded relationship with God. Tenemos que dejar esta cosa de la religión y tener una relación con Dios. And I've been saying this ever since we've been a family, ever since we've been a church. Y lo vengo diciendo desde que somos parte de una misma familia. I've said get out of the religion mindset and get into a relationship. De dejar la religión y empezar una relación. Religion will kill you. La religión te va a matar. If you don't believe that, look around the world today and si see no how many people crees, are dying because of religion. Mira a tu alrededor y ve cuánta gente muere por la causa de la religión. Amen. And religion, even though it's based on Christianity, will kill you spiritually. Y la religión, aunque sea cristiana, te matará and espiritualmente. And if you are dead spiritually, you may as well be dead. Si tú eres, estás muerto espiritualmente, se puede decir que tú estás muerto ya. In fact, if you are dead spiritually, you're going to be dead physically. De hecho, si tú estás muerto espiritualmente, right? vas a llegar a morir físicamente. We only, we only have the promise of eternal life because of what? Nosotros tenemos la promesa de la vida eterna porque a través de Jesús. So we have to labor at this thing. We got to take it seriously, this relationship with God. Tenemos que tomar en serio esta relación con Dios. Right? You can't rest unless you know God. Tú no puedes descansar a menos que tú conozcas a Dios. Because you can't you can't rest unless you have faith. If if you don't believe that you can rest, you're not going to rest. Si tú no crees que puedes descansar, tú no vas a descansar. It's never going to happen. Nunca va a suceder. He says so that no one will fall by following their example of disobedience. Who is he talking about here? De quién está hablando aquí en este versículo? Remember the Israelites ¿Se acuerdan de los israelitas cuando cruzaron el desierto? Moses was leading them to the promised land. Moisés los estaba llevando a la tierra prometida. This promised land is would be like our rest, spiritual rest. God was leading them there to have their own place to live, to their place of rest. Amen. They were coming out of slavery with, Dios, under the Egyptians. Dios los estaba llevando ahí para que tuvieran descanso porque venían de esclavos de la tierra de Egipto. And God was leading them there, and it took them 40 years to get there. Dios los estaba llevando a este lugar y les tomó 40 años para llegar. This walk was an 11-day journey. Cuando en sí eran solamente 11 días lo que tardarían en llegar. It didn't take them 40 years to get there because of distance. Les tomó 40 años por la distancia que tenían con Dios. It took them 40 years to get there because of their disobedience, their disbelief. Porque ellos no creyeron y por su desobediencia. So they were going around and around and around in the desert. Ellos iban dando vueltas y vueltas en el desierto. And, and we can't judge because uh, I'm about 40. <laughs> y no los podemos juzgar porque. <laughs> Can I get an amen? Yo casi tengo 40 años. 
<laughs> and 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 some of you are at that mark. Some y of you are a little bit over. Están un poquito arriba de los 40. And let's face it, we're all sometimes going around in circles in our own desert. <laughs> y muchas veces estuvimos dando vueltas en nuestro propio desierto. If we be honest with ourselves, some days we really are just going around in circles, right? Si somos honestos con nosotros mismos, realmente hemos dado vueltas en el mismo desierto. So we desierto. can't judge the Israelites. Entonces no podemos juzgar a los israelitas. Some days we do the same thing. Porque a veces hacemos lo mismo. And it's for the same reason. Y por las mismas razones. Disbelief. No creemos en Dios. Dis uh, disobedience is disbelief because we're not believing in the word. We're disobeying la, what the word God says. La desobediencia es no creer en Dios. People say, no, I'm not disobeying God. Yes, we are if we're not believing his word. We're Muchos disobeying. Muchos dicen, no, yo no he desobedecido a Dios, pero sí, porque no estamos creyendo en lo que Dios dice. Right. Now they granted they didn't they didn't have any highway markers through the desert but they had a, a cloud of fire by night right Ellos no tenían un camino que los llevara pero sí tenían una nube que los guiaba And a cloud by day that God was trying to guide them Dios trataba de guiarlos But just like us sometimes they did a lot of murmuring and complaining Pero igual que nosotros ellos se quejaban mucho Right mm -hmm. They were getting fed but then they wanted meat Estaban siendo alimentados, pero ahora querían carne. I think I would be there too. But anyway, they wanted meat. God gave them meat, right? He gave them everything they needed, and still, it wasn't enough. Dios les dio todo lo que necesitaban, pero como sea, no era suficiente para ellos. Then it got so bad that that first generation didn't even make it in. Y fue tan malo que ni siquiera esa primera generación pudo entrar. Right? Only the second generation got into the promised land. Solo la segunda generación entró a la tierra prometida. The people that walked around for 40 years never got to go in. In fact, la, they died. La gente que estuvo 40 años dando vueltas no pudo entrar. So are we going to do the same thing? Are we going to die spiritually simply because of disbelief? Vamos a hacer lo mismo? The choice of entering rest is, is not, um, you know, a process, a book that you read or a seminar that you go to. Para entrar al descanso no tienes que ir a un seminario o leer ciertos libros. It's nothing someone can can um, get you on a five step process. You do this, this, this and this then you can enter rest. No es nada que alguien te puede decir, mira, haz estos cinco pasos para que puedas entrar al descanso. The decision to enter rest is up to you. La decisión de entrar al descanso es tuya. Just like it was for God's chosen people. Lo mismo que fue para los israelitas en ese tiempo. They could have kept moving forward and being obedient to God and believing God and they would have made it in 11 days. Ellos pudieron llegar ahí en 11 días y creían y seguían lo que Dios les decía. The choice is always ours. Siempre ha sido la decisión de nosotros. Uh, with other things other than rest, it, the choice is always ours. No, la decisión siempre ha sido nuestra. If we want to be a family of believers and we did, We can be a family of believers. Si right? nosotros queremos ser parte de, de que creemos en, en Dios, entonces nosotros tomamos esa decisión. If we want to continue to be a family of believers, we can continue to be a family of believers. We can decide that. Y si queremos seguir continuando siendo familia de los que creemos, nosotros es nuestra decisión right? seguir ahí. If we want to feel better in our bodies, we have that choice to do that. Si queremos sentirnos bien en nuestro cuerpo, tenemos la decisión para hacerlo. All we hacerlo. have to do is go back in the Word and say, this, thus saith the Lord. Lo único que tenemos que hacer es buscar en la palabra y ver lo que dice el Señor. Be it unto me, Lord, as you've said. Y decir, esto lo que dice como tú lo dijiste. What happens when you don't feel better? ¿Qué pasa cuando no te sientes bien? You keep believing and you keep proclaiming the Word of God. Tú sigues creyendo y sigues proclamando la palabra de That's Dios. That's what happened in the desert. They stopped believing. Eso fue lo que pasó en el desierto. Dejaron de creer. A journey through any desert is not going to be easy. Un viaje por un desierto nunca va a ser sencillo. How many of you are going through a desert, even maybe right now, or ¿Cuántos, ever have? ¿Cuántos han pasado por un Just desierto me? o están pasando por un desierto ahora mismo? Right. Life is a desert itself, right? La vida es un desierto en sí. We live in a world that's cursed. Vivimos en un mundo que ha sido maldecido. Because of sin. Por el pecado. So we are traveling on a desert. Yeah, it doesn't maybe it doesn't look like one. Estamos caminando en el desierto aunque no pareciera. But it is one. Pero es un desierto. And we have the choices that we make every day to get through life, right? Y tenemos las decisiones que que podamos tener en nuestra vida. We choose to get up every morning. Decidimos levantarnos todos los días. You, you may say, well, you don't have to. Tú dirás, bueno, no tienes que. You know, I've got a job. 
tengo un trabajo. You still have a choice to go to that job or not. Todavía tienes la decisión tuya de ir al trabajo o no. Right. We make choices every day. Tomamos decisiones todos los días. We make decisions every day. Tomamos decisiones todos los días. About everything else other than a relationship with God. Acerca de muchas cosas. Why then can't we make a decision Dios? about something spiritual and stick with it? ¿Por qué tú crees que en lo espiritual no tendrías que tomar esa decisión? We decide every day to keep moving. Decidimos todos los días de seguir adelante. To keep going forward. Seguir adelante. To keep working at it. Seguir trabajando en algo. Right? Why don't we do the same thing when it comes to Jesus? No matter no what we see. Cuando buscamos a Jesús. No matter how we feel. No importa cómo nos sintamos. No matter what anybody says. No importa lo que la gente diga. I'm going to keep moving forward. Voy a seguir adelante. I'm going to keep moving forward. Voy a seguir adelante. That is the only way that we're going to get into rest. Es la única forma en que podamos entrar en el reposo. Is to labor. Es trabajar. Let us therefore, this, the NIV says, let us therefore make every effort. I think in the King James Version, it says, let us labor. Dice en una versión de la Biblia, vamos so, a seguir trabajando. So we're not ceasing from, we're not ceasing from our labor, we're ceasing from self-works. No estamos uh, parando de nuestro trabajo, pero parando de que nosotros podemos hacerlo. I'm here to tell you today that Jesus is enough. Quiero decirles hoy que Jesús es suficiente. He always has been. Él siempre ha sido. He always will be. Y siempre lo será. In fact, he is more than enough. De hecho, él es más que suficiente. We serve a God who, who created out of nothingness an entire universe. Tenemos un Dios que creó de la nada un universo completo. I mean, really think about it for a moment. What does the word say there was in the beginning? Eh, piénselo cómo empieza eh, la Biblia en, en Génesis. There was nothing. ¿Cómo empezó el mundo? Con nada, no había how, nada. How do you describe nothing? ¿Cómo describes tú nada? It was nothing. Nada. It wasn't even nothing. It was no nothing. No había ni nothing. siquiera nada. No había nada. <laughs> right. It was, it was how, I mean, what's the word for that? It was nothingness. Uh -huh. Había nada. I think the word of God says there was a void. Right? Uh -huh. Just nothing. Había nada. And what happened? ¿Y qué sucedió? God said, Dios dijo, let there be light. Que, be, que haga luz. What happened? ¿Y qué pasó? Did it flicker? Empezó <laughs> como no, la luz. There was light immediately. No, había luz inmediatamente que lo dijo, la luz existió. Without Duke Power. Sin ningún electricidad. Without any power company. <laughs> Sin ninguna compañía electro, eléctrica. God didn't get a bill. Eh, Dios no recibió un, un cargo por electricidad. There was just Light out of nothing. Fue luz inmediatamente, fuera de la nada. We're still underestimating the God we serve. Todavía seguimos subestimando el Dios que servimos. If God can make light out of nothing, si Dios pudo hacer la luz de la nada, He can create a rest. Él puede crear descanso. That will satisfy you. Que te satisfacerá. Physically, spiritually, espiritualmente, emotionally, emocionalmente. Amen. 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 What we're not doing, Stephanie, is we're not exercising. We're not accessing it. We're no es, not no laboring at it. No estamos trabajando para llegar ahí. You know, most of the laboring goes on here. Did you know that? Mucho de lo que trabajamos viene de la mente. In your spiritual walk, 99.9% .9 of the labor happens right here. Espiritualmente, el 99.9% empieza en la mente. Um, I, I love the book by Joyce Meyer, the, Meyer the, the Mind is the Battlefield, or something like that. Hay, hay un libro Battle que, of the Mind, or whatever que habla acerca de la batalla de la mente. Because that's where it's at. That's where we wage war. Porque ahí es donde libramos la guerra. We're, we're our own worst enemy. Nosotros somos nuestro propio enemigo. Because we can control this. Porque nosotros controlamos nuestra mente. When I pray in the morning, one of the things I pray is that my mind be renewed si in hay, the Holy Spirit. En las mañanas yo oro para que mi mente sea renovada por su Espíritu. I want to think like Jesus thinks. Yo quiero pensar como Jesús piensa. And how does Jesus think? Y cómo es que Jesús piensa. Amen. How, how do you think Jesus thinks? ¿Cómo crees tú que Jesús piensa? Huh? I guarantee you there's no doubt. Les aseguro que no hay ninguna duda. And Jesus said, nevertheless, Father, your will be done. 
Y Jesús dijo, que se haga tu voluntad. If there's another way, okay. But si if not, el... if not, your will be done. Si hay alguna otra forma, está bien, pero si no, que se haga tu voluntad. That's how we have to think. Eso es como nosotros tenemos que What pensar. What thus saith the Lord. Lo que tenemos que decirle al we Señor. We have to take this so literal that we believe it more than we believe that we're going to take our next breath. Tenemos que tomar la Biblia tan literal que creamos más en lo que dice la Biblia que, que cuando uno toma el respiro. If you're not there yet, you need to get there. Si no has llegado ahí, tenemos que llegar ahí. Because until you get there, you're not going to rest. Mientras no lleguemos ahí, no vas a tener descanso. You're going to keep walking around and around and around and around in that 40 years through the desert. You're going to stay there. You're never going to get out. No, and what happens? Nothing changes. Vamos Nothing a seguir changes. caminando y caminando en el desierto. ¿Y qué es lo que va a pasar? Que nada cambia. Sigue igual. Nada cambia. All they saw for 40 years was sand. Todo lo que los israelitas vieron en 40 años fue arena. Right. Are you following me this morning? Están siguiendo. Do you believe what I'm saying this morning? Ustedes creen que lo, de lo que estoy hablando. Right? We have to work at this thing. Tenemos que trabajar en esto. A lot of people are just holding on until Jesus comes. Mucha gente está esperando simplemente que cuando venga Jesús. I got tired of just holding on until Jesus comes. Yo estoy cansado de, de solamente esperar hasta que Él venga. I want some victorious living. Me gustaría tener una vida victoriosa. You know, there's no fun being a warrior. There's no fun being a warrior. No tiene uh, eh, gracia ser uh, simplemente un, sol un soldado, uno del ejército. It de doesn't la get you anything except some doctor saying, well, maybe you should try this. <laughs> no, no te da nada oír que el doctor te diga, oh, lo que tienes es esto. Take this one pill, then I'll see you every month for, or every six months for the rest of your life. Tómate esta medicina y te veo en cierta, en un mes, en dos meses. <laughs> Am I telling the truth this morning? Deja decirle algo hoy. Right? Are we trying him first? Are we trying his word first? O es, debemos de tratar su palabra primero. Now how do we know? How do we know if we're really interesting, interested in resting in God? How do we know if we're really starting to get there? ¿Cómo es que sabemos si ya empezamos a vivir en el descanso de look, Dios? Look at verse 12. Versículo 12. For the word of God is living and active. How many of you believe that? ¿Cuántos creen que la palabra de Dios es viva y eficaz? It's sharper than any double-edged sword. Y más cortante que toda espada de dos filos. It penetrates even to dividing soul and spirit. Y penetra hasta la división del alma y del espíritu. Joints and marrow. De las coyunturas y los tuétanos. Is that, is that cutting pretty deep? ¿Tú creen que eso es bastante profundo? It judges the thoughts and heart and, and attitudes of the heart. Y discierne los pensamientos y las intenciones del corazón. Nothing in all creation is hidden from God's sight. Y no hay cosa creada que esté oculta de su vista. Everything is uncovered. Antes bien, todas las cosas están desnudas. And laid bare before the eyes of him. Y descubiertas a los ojos de aquel. To whom we must give an account. De aquel a quien tenemos que dar cuenta. God is saying all that to say this. If you want to judge your walk with him, go to the word of God. Dios dice, si tú quieres caminar y juzgar tu caminar en la palabra, en la vida espiritual de Dios, ve y lee esto. Am I resting in God? Estoy descansando. The word of God will reveal who you are and who you are not. La, el descanso de Dios te revelará. ¿Quién eres o quién no eres? Sometimes when I look in God's word, I have to say, God, help me. A veces cuando estoy leyendo la palabra de Dios, tengo que decir, ayúdame, Dios. God, help my disbelief. Ayúdame a, a, a que no creo. I should know better. Yo debería de saber esto mejor. And I read his word and it says, man, you've been going about this thing the whole wrong way. Y veo la palabra y digo, oh, creo que he ido por el camino equivocado. It's living and active. Es vivir ef, viva, eh, eficazmente. It judges the thought, Sister Millie. Juzga el, el, nuestros pensamientos. God gave us this word for a reason. Dios nos dio esta palabra por alguna razón. He just wasn't interested in writing a book. 
No es que solamente quería escribir un libro. He wasn't trying to sell Bibles. <laughs> Ni trataba de vender Biblias. Amen. The word is our guide. Amen. La palabra es nuestra guía. It is our roadmap to rest. Es nuestro nuestra guía para el descanso. It's our roadmap to everything, but today I'm telling you it's our roadmap to rest. Es nuestro mapa para llegar al descanso. How many of you need some relief in here? Is it just me or how many of us need some relief? ¿Cuántos de aquí necesitan un descanso? Solo yo oh, o quién más? God. Help us to learn how to rest. Ayúdanos en a cómo llegar al descanso. We have to surrender totally everything to God. Tenemos que dar todo lo, lo que somos, lo que tenemos a Dios. It's like that thing God put in my heart a couple months ago. Dios puso en mi corazón unos meses atrás. And there was esto. something I was dealing with God about. Yo tenía algo que estaba lidiando con Dios. And I didn't see God moving on it. Y no veía que Dios se movía. And it finally got to the point where I told God, God, either everything you say is real. Llegué un momento que dije, Señor, todo lo que tú dices es real. Or none of it is real. O, o nada es real. Every single word of this is real or none of it is real. Todo lo que está en esta Biblia es real o nada es real. How many of you believe for salvation in this place? How many of you are saved? creen que son salvos? You believed for that salvation, didn't you? Tú crees en esa salvación. Did anybody force it on you? ¿Alguien te forzó a creerlo? Or did you simply believe o simplemente lo creíste? the word that you heard or the message that you heard and then the work of the Holy Spirit drawing you to him? Ya sea que alguien, eh, porque lo escuchaste o lo leíste o porque alguien te ayudó a hacer. That was true, wasn't it? Que era, sabías que era verdad. If, if you know in your heart that you are ready to meet Jesus, si tú con, sabes en tu corazón que vas a conocer a Jesús, then you rested in that, didn't you? If Jesus were to come back today, can you honestly say inside, I have no doubt whatsoever that I will go up to meet him? Then you're resting in that. Y tú estás descansando en eso. Then what we need to do is believe and rest in everything else that he has said as well. Lo que tenemos que hacer es descansar en todo lo que él dijo que también venía. I heard somebody say one time, I must be doing something wrong. I can't get healed. Alguien oí que dijo, he de estar, he de estar haciendo algo malo porque no, no acabo de sanarme. It may be. It may be. Tal vez. It may be simply that they're not believing and trusting God's word for it. Tal vez es que no estás uh, confiando completamente en la palabra de Dios. You know, something's wrong. God is not moving on this. Tal vez algo, algo está mal y Dios no puede moverse. There may be a, a time that God is waiting for to move on something. Tal vez Dios está esperando un tiempo para que se mueva algo. Remember, in the, remember the sermon I preached a couple months ago. Eh, uno de los sermones que di hace unos meses atrás. <coughs> Somebody wanted to have a baby, right? Que alguien quería tener un bebé. Who was that? Zachariah and Elizabeth. Uh, tal vez era Zacarías y Elizabeth. God waited until they got old for that thing to happen. Y Dios esperó hasta que ellos eran viejos para que sucediese. Right? They were. They, they say that Zachariah was about 80 years old. Decía que Zacarías tenía como 88 años. Why did God wait so long to give Porque him an answer to that prayer? Porque es que Dios esperó tanto para responder su oración. It's because their son was John the Baptist, and he was a forerunner of Jesus. The time was not ready yet for him to be born. Era porque su hijo, que iba a ser Juan el Bautista, tenía que esperar hasta que viniera el nacimiento de Jesús también. We need to stop God. Tenemos que parar de, de pensar. Tenemos que parar de estar quejándonos mucho con Dios. Let's let God be God. Vamos a dejar que Dios sea Dios. Let's let us not be God. Vamos, tenemos que parar de nosotros querer ser Dios. Vamos a ser personas que descansemos en lo que Dios dice. If you want to change, si tú quieres que las cosas cambien, do we need to in our life? hay cosas que tenemos que cambiar en nuestra vida. Tenemos que dejar que Dios sea Dios right? y, y empezar a descansar en That's Él. Eso es todo lo simple de la fórmula. Esa es la fórmula más sencilla que hay. Right. We don't have to go to school and get a doctorate to learn this. Stuff. No tienes que ir a la escuela para poder aprender esto. Just let God be God and trust what he says. Solo deja que Dios sea Dios y confía en lo que él dice. Right. Do we have things that we that we need God to move on? Hay cosas que tenemos que Dios se mueva en trust nuestras vidas. God. And don't put him on a timetable. Don't say God has got to be now or never. 
eh, confía en Dios si no digas si no es ahora ya no pray it like this that to you be the glory God ora de esta forma que digas this, para ti sea la gloria this Dios. thing needs to be done but let it be done to glorify you not to make me happy que esto que sea para glorificarte a ti no para que yo esté feliz we have to get out of this it's all about me mindset tenemos que salirnos de este todo que es acerca de nosotros, Cause, pensamiento. Cause it's not all about us. Porque no es todo acerca de nosotros. It's all about him. Todo es acerca de Él. We're the created being, not the creator. Nosotros somos la creación, no los creadores. Right. Let's all, let's all stand this morning. Vamos a orar hoy. Pongámonos de pie. I'm going to read you just a little bit more. You can go back and read this whole chapter. Tú puedes um, leer todo este, cap este capítulo. Look in, verse, look in verse 3, if you still have your word open. If not, just listen to me read it. It says, now we, who have entered, now we who have believed enter that rest, just as God has said. So I declared on my oath and anger, they shall never enter my rest. He was talking about the, the Israelites. Aquí les hablan acerca de los israelitas. He said they're never going to enter it. They dijo, could have, right? dijo que ellos no iban a entrar. And God was upset with them because they simply didn't let him be God. Y el Dios estaba enojado con ellos porque simplemente no lo dejaban ser Dios. And this is what I was talking about a little while ago. And yet his work has been finished since the creation of the world. Right? Go on, go on down to verse 6. It still remains that some will enter that rest. That's us. Por lo tanto, puesto que falta que algunos entren en él, se refiere a nosotros. And those who formerly had the gospel preached to them did not go in because of what? Because of their disobedience. Y this, aquellos a quienes primero se les anunció la buena nueva no entraron por la causa de su desobediencia. This is what I like about God. Look in verse 7. It says, therefore God again set a certain day. Otra vez, fija un día, hoy diciendo, después de tanto tiempo. Today and calling it today. Por, por medio de David. When a long time later he spoke through David, as was said before. Como está predicho. Today, if you will hear his voice. Si oís hoy su voz. And do not harden your hearts. No endurezcáis vuestros corazones. See, the problem is in that spiritual heart. El problema está en nuestro corazón espiritual. Is, is that we are stuck in that belief. That's what that means. If, if you've got a hard heart, that means you're stuck in a certain mindset. Eso es lo que se refiere cuando el corazón se pone duro. We need to pray and ask God to open our mind. Tenemos que orar y decir que abra nuestra mente. And I ask God all the time, God, give me the truth in all things concerning you. Y decir, dame la verdad en todas las cosas. I want to know the truth. Yo quiero conocer la verdad. Because his word says the truth will set me free. Porque dice su palabra que la, la verdad nos hará libres. And I, I was bound for so long, I want to be free. Y yo estaba tanto tiempo atado y yo quería ser libre. I was bound by things of the world and then I was bound in religion. Por las cosas del mundo y luego por la misma religión. Man, did I have a messed up head. Yo tenía un problema en la cabeza. Right? I didn't know which way to go. I mean, hey, sometimes I was even happier out in the world than I was in, in, in religion. Muchas veces yo estaba más feliz en el mundo que en la religión. Right? At least there wasn't somebody saying, don't, 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 don't do this, don't do that, don't do this. Por lo menos uh, no había alguien que me dijera, no hagas esto o esto o esto. Right? God is not all about these don'ts. Dios no está right? pensando nada más en no hagas esto o lo otro. Our God is a do God. Amen. Nuestro Dios es un Dios que dice, haz esto o lo otro. He says, come to me, all you, right? Él dice, vengan a mí todos. Who are heavy laden, and I cansados. will give you what? Rest. Que yo les daré descanso. That's who the God is that we serve. Ese es el Dios que nosotros servimos. Father God, we thank you today, Lord, that you make this thing so simple and so easy for us. We praise you and thank you for that, Lord. And Lord, we are burdened, Lord. There's even some of us today who are just burdened, Lord. We're just tired and stressed. God, that we forget, Lord. We just forget. How easy it is, Lord. How simple it really is, Lord. Forgive us for that. 
Forgive us for not spending time in your word to know who you really are. God, help us to see we make so much time for other things. Lord, help us to understand we need to make time for you and your promises, Lord. It's for our own benefit. That's why you gave it to us. Lord, we just repent, Lord, of not taking the time to speak to you, to talk to you, to pray to you. Lord, it's all us. You're not the problem. I pray that you just open our eyes, that you give us truth about all things, Lord. But help us to understand, Father, that we do play a part in this. That we need to labor, Lord, to get to know you. That we need to labor, Lord, to, to worship, Lord. That we need to labor, we need to work at our faith that we just can't sit down on the couch of life lord and just let it come as it comes help us to see that lord that if we want change in our life lord if we want peace if we want rest if we want joy unspeakable and full of glory that we also have to work at it lord that it just don't happen just because we're saved doesn't mean lord that we're always going to be at peace that we're not going to have troubles. Lord, you didn't preach that. In fact, you said there would be hard times, Lord, coming. But we do thank you, Lord, that yes, we are saved. But we want to thank you, Lord, for the victories that you, that you give us. And the victories you can give us if we will simply obey your word, Lord, help us not to be like the Israelites wandering through the desert, Lord, just wandering in circles and continue to go through life, just doing things, Lord, that are the same with the same results, Lord. Help us to change. Help us to be willing and have an open mind, Lord, about you. And give all your promises a chance, Lord, to work in our life. Help us to get out of this instant mindset, God, that it's got to happen right now. Help us to learn how to wait, Lord, on you. To let you be God. Forgive us for exalting ourselves, Lord, and trying to help you, trying to be God, trying to create, Lord, instead of resting. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. If there's something that you need rest in today, I just want you to come up and we're just going to spend time in prayer. I know there's burdens. I know there's things that are going on in our lives. And this is one thing that families do together. They stick together. They pray together. I just want you to feel free just to come up and you don't have to make any announcements about what's on your mind, what's going on in your life. Mm -hmm. But if you would just like to come before God and just get some assistance praying about it, I'll be happy to pray with you about it. I don't have to tell you today how much God loves you. I think we all know that. But he loves you so much that he doesn't want you to carry these burdens. That's for sure. He don't want you to be worried. He don't want you stressing.